Hi, we're back in the daily halacha. After finishing the halachot of Hanukkah, where you could uh, look up those halachot on YouTube at Kolel Bet Yosef or on our website LearnTorah.ca, we'll be continuing on the laws of Shabbat. Uh, more specifically, melachot work on the eve of Shabbat. Now, we explained last time that although melacha uh, is only prohibited only within the confined time periods of Shabbat and Yom Tov, nevertheless, the sages determined the need to impose limited restriction on activities during late Friday afternoon, so one will not come to desecrate Shabbat. So, we'll speak today about minor activities. Now, melacha activities that are not part of a regular employment or uh, a set project, for example, but um, are rather spontaneous and minor, are not subject to this restriction that we just mentioned, because such activities do not ordinarily engender deep involvement that could lead to a laxity of Shabbat preparation, as it's self-understood. When uh, somebody has to do just something minor and it's something unexpected, this is not uh, under the prohibition of doing a melacha on the eve of Shabbat. For example, um, if one wants to write a letter, sew a button, water his lawn, fix small things around the house or garden or just clean up for Shabbat, obviously this is permissible because um, one will not um, get involved in such a big melacha because he's a minor melacha and there's no worry that he might uh, desecrate the Shabbat. However, major projects may not be embarked upon close to Shabbat. Example, painting a house, building a deck or porch, planting a new garden, starting a new lawn, major household repairs, is not permissible Friday uh, of the eve of Shabbat. Now, what about mailing a letter, for example, on the eve of Shabbat, or package on Friday afternoon? So one is permitted to mail a letter on Friday afternoon, where it can be assumed that the postal employees are non-Jewish, even though the letter will be handled or delivered on Shabbat by the non-Jewish postal worker. This is permitted and not considered amiral la'akum, as we explained in previous classes, for a number of reasons, two of which will be explained right away. 